Hello and welcome to Learning Go Data Structures and Algorithm course by Pack Published. My name is Gustavo Chain and I'm a backend programmer and system engineer. I've been working in the industry for more than 15 years, working with a wide diversity of languages, including C, Python, Erlang, and lately Go, which I use to write most of my services. Also, I'm an active open source developer and you can check out my projects and contribution in my GitHub account, github.com slash gchaincl. This course is aimed at people with little or no experience with the language. You will learn from the very basic to building a small distributed search engine. It's organized in four sections. The first one, Hello World, starts with an introduction to the language and why Go is a great choice. We will start the course by installing all the required tooling and finally, you will be able to write your first program. In section two, we will cover the language basics. We start with variable and elementary types, which are the place where we store information, control structures, which are the rule for our program to operate, then, we will learn how to declare and call functions. We will continue with Go arrays, slices and maps, which are data structures built in the language to store collections of data. Finally, in section two, we will learn how to define our structures and method receivers, and finally, how to deal with errors. Section three is the core of this course. We will learn and implement five fundamental data structures single and double lists, stacks, queues, trees, and graphs. Even though these are complex data abstractions, which are not part of the language, we will write some of these implementations using Go specific types, namely arrays and channels. Finally, in section four, we will make use all of what we've learned during this course in order to exploit one of the most important features on the Go language, concurrency. We will explore channels, the mechanism Go provides to communicate different processes, as well as concurrency models like fan in, fan out, and worker pools. This will help us feel comfortable making use of channels and Go routines and reason in an asynchronous way, which is core to build concurrent programs. To finish our journey, we will write a small distributed search engine, where we make use of all what we've learned during this course. 